ശ്രീമതി ആർ പത്മാവതി ഹെഡ് ഓഫ് ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെന്റ് ഇ സി ധനലക്ഷ്മി ശ്രീനിവാസൻ കോളേജ് ഓഫ് എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ടെക്നോളജി ചെന്നൈ ഷി പെർസ്യൂഡ് ഹർ ബാച്ചിലർ ഓഫ് എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് ഇൻ ഇലക്ട്രോണിക്സ് ആൻഡ് ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെന്റേഷൻ എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് അറ്റ് ദ നാഷണൽ എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് കോളേജ് കോവൽപട്ടി ഷി ദെൻ വെന്റ് ഓൺ ടു വർക്ക് ആസ് എ ടെക്നിക്കൽ എഡിറ്റർ ഇൻ ഡോമിക്സ് ടെക്നിക്കൽ ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ പ്രൈവറ്റ് ലിമിറ്റഡ് ചെന്നൈ ഷി ദെൻ പെർസ്യൂഡ് ഹർ മാസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് ഇൻ അപ്ലൈഡ് ഇലക്ട്രോണിക്സ് സത്യഭാമ യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റി ചെന്നൈ ഷി ഇസ് കറന്റ്ലി പെർസ്യൂയിങ് ഹർ പി എച്ച് ഡി ഇൻ അന യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റി ചെന്നൈ ഷി ഇസ് പബ്ലിഷ് സെവറൽ നാഷണൽ ആൻഡ് ഇന്റർനാഷണൽ ജേണൽസ് ആൻഡ് ഇസ് അറ്റൻഡ് മെനി കോൺഫറൻസസ് ഹർ ഏരിയാസ് ഓഫ് ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് ഇൻക്ലൂഡ് ലീനിയർ ഇന്റഗ്രേറ്റഡ് സർക്യൂട്ട്സ് ഡിജിറ്റൽ ഇലക്ട്രോണിക്സ് ഇലക്ട്രോണിക് സർക്യൂട്ട്സ് വി എൽ എസ് ഐ ഡിസൈൻ വെൽക്കം ടു യു ജി സി ലെക്ചർ സീരീസ് ബി എസ് സി ഇലക്ട്രോണിക്സ് ഹോണേഴ്സ് ഫോർ ദ സബ്ജെക്ട് അനലോഗ് ഇലക്ട്രോണിക്സ് Today we are going to discuss about the frequency response of BJT and field effect transistor in which low frequency response of it and high frequency response of both the transistors BJT and FET that is field effect transistor in which Miller effect and Miller capacitance effect we are going to see. So in the low frequency response the analysis of FET amplifier in low frequency region will be quite similar to that of the BJT amplifier. the analysis is similar uh, to that of the bjt amplifier and here there are three capacitance effects in the fet amplifier which is going to reduce the gain of the amplifier and these uh, three capacitances are cg cc and cs that is the gate capacitance in the circuit if you note down uh, if you note the circuit there is a capacitance uh, represented by cg which is connected to the gate terminal and at the output terminal it is cc that is at the drain terminal and across the resistance rs you have a capacitance cs so these are all the capacitance effects which are going to reduce the gain of the fet uh, similar to the bjt there are uh, uh, these uh, cg and cc are the coupling capacitors and uh, this cs is the bypass capacitor this coupling capacitor is going to prevent the dc voltage present in the uh, preceding and succeeding stage, stages of uh, the amplifier circuit and this uh, and so the bias of uh, fet is uh, not affected and this bypo- uh, the bypass capacitor uh, cs which short circuits the effect of the resistance rs when when the amplifier is getting the ac signal so th- this circuit is the the effect of the capacitance cg that is the coupling capacitor which is connected at the gate terminal and uh, this is the resistance signal resistance is represented here as r sig and ri is the input resistance of the entire network uh, which has been replaced as a block here as system and the ac signal is given to the system and now the what is the effect of uh, cg uh, in its uh, cut off frequency this is the cut off frequency due to the effect of cg it is derived as 1 by 2 pi r sig plus ri into cg and we know that this uh, resistance ri is the resistance uh, gate resistance rg and this rg is very very higher than the signal resistance r sig and so only the resistance rg is considered in this formula and because of this capacitance cg we are getting a lower cut off frequency called flg and it has been uh, derived as 1 by 2 pi r g c g since we have uh, seen that r i is uh, very very high r g is very very high higher than this r signal and so the f- lower cut off frequency is derived as 1 by 2 pi only r g into c g and these uh, resistances r g c g is going to decide the lower cut off frequency now and if rg is very high we have to choose this uh, cg value very low so that this lower cut off frequency is maintained and this is the uh, a block diagram or a circuit diag network due to the effect of the coupling capacitor at the output side that is cc the net at the output side of the network and the load which is connected in between the output side of the network and the load resistance and because of this cc what is the effect present at the lower cut off frequency it is derived as 1 by 2 pi ro plus rl into 
cc so here what is ro that is the uh, output resistance output resistance seen at the output side of the network and which has been already derived as the resistance connected to the drain terminal and the internal resistance rd it is the parallel combination of the drain resistance and the internal resistance rd and so the lower cutoff frequency obtained by the coupling capacitor cc is derived as 1 by 2 pi r o plus r l into cc so we have got two lower cutoff frequencies now and there is one more capacitance present in the network and it is bypass capacitor cs and because of this bypass capacitor we are uh, we uh, have another low lower cutoff frequency that is 1 by 2 pi r equivalent cs so uh, this is the r equivalent uh, uh, part we have to calculate and this has been calculated earlier as rs by 1 plus rs into 1 plus gm rd by rd plus the drain resistance parallel with the load resistance since this rd is always assumed to be very very high or uh, sometimes it is infinite the part the fraction part here this rd part is neglected and so the effective res the uh, resistance equivalent resistance at the uh, at the gate terminal i mean uh, at the source terminal because we are dealing about this uh, uh, bypass capacitance cs which is connected at the source terminal and from here you have to calculate the r equivalent which has been redrawn as uh, as this network so this r equivalent is at the source terminal from there we have to calculate the r equivalent here it is actually r e q which is given in the equation as r e q and uh, since the resistance internal resistance is assumed to be infinite at the r equivalent is uh, derived as the parallel combination of the source resistance and 1 by gm and this has to be replaced in the lower cutoff frequency so as in the case of bipolar junction transistor we have three capacitance effects two effects by the coupling capacitor cg and cc and one more uh, effect is by uh, the bypass capacitance CS. So, because of these three capacitance effects, we got three lower cutoff frequencies FLC, uh, FLG, and FLS. So, this is the Bode plot we have uh, seen earlier in uh, while we uh, discuss about the bipolar junction transistor. This Bode plot will give you the information about how the system, how the amplifier responds to the AC signals from low frequency range to high frequency range. So, here this is the frequency of the input signal and the y axis has the gain of the network and here we have derived three frequencies due to the coupling capacitors and the bypass capacitors FLG, FLC and FLS. And out of three lower cutoff frequencies, we have to choose the highest lower cutoff frequency. And so, this FLS is very high when you compare it with other two frequencies. And so, it has been chosen uh, in the in the graph. And this is the maximum gain of the network. And after this lower cutoff frequency FLS, which we have chosen, after this frequency, the gain is very high. And before that, the gain is increased gradually at the rate of minus 20 dB per decade for every 10 times increase in the input signals frequency it will increase plus 20 dB per decade. So, the, the Bode plot indicates that each capacitor may have a different cutoff frequency. The capacitor that has the highest lower cutoff frequency FL is closest to, uh, to the actual cutoff frequency of the amplifier and next is Miller effect capacitance in the high frequency uh, region. So, we have seen in the low frequency uh, uh, analysis that there are only three capacitance effects that is the coupling capacitor and the bypass capacitor. While we go for the high frequency region there is the effect called the Miller capacitance effect in which the capacitor uh, the capacitive elements of importance are 
the inter electrode capacitances that is the uh, capacitance in between two to active terminals and that is said to be inter electrode capacitances internal to the active device and the wiring capacitance between the leads of the network. Uh, this wiring capacitance is nothing but there is a substrate which acts as a dielectric medium and uh, whenever there is a connection between any two terminals by the wiring then tho those wiring act as a parallel plate uh, parallel plate. So, the entire uh, thing the dielectric in uh, between two parallel plates will give you a parallel plate capacitance effect and that is said to be wiring capacitance between the leads of the network and this is a uh, this is uh, the entire effect is called as Miller capacitance effect. The large capacitors of the network that controlled the low frequency response have all been replaced by their short circuit equivalent because while uh, we increase the frequency of the signal applied the effect of the capacitance is reduced and so it has been uh, considered as a short circuit since we have uh, we know that the we know the relationship between the frequency and the capacitance effect. So, it both are inversely proportional. So, if the frequency is high then the capacitance effect is low. So, the for the lower capacitance effect we can uh, consider the effect as a short circuit. So, those effects those uh, coupling capacitance effect and bypass uh, capacitors are shorted while dealing with the high frequency signals in the circuit. Um, the effect of the Miller capacitance in the inverting amplifier uh, can be seen now. For the inverting amplifier we know that what is an inverting amplifier the which gives you 180 degree phase shift between the input uh, voltage and the output voltage. For these amplifiers the input and output capacitance is increased by a capacitance level sensitive to the effects we have seen uh, the, uh, the inter electrode capacitance between the input and output terminals of the device and the gain of the amplifier. This feedback capacitance is defined by uh, C f in the network. So, this is the inverting amplifier we can assume and uh, the input terminal is connected to the output terminal through the uh, feedback capacitance C f and now we are going to uh, derive a relation between uh, a relation for uh, derive an equation for the Miller capacitance for the input side of the amplifier. Okay, so, we are going to apply uh, Kirchhoff's current law at this node. Uh, consider the input current as I i and input voltage as V i and the input current drawn by the uh, input terminals of the amplifier as I 1 and the resistance seen at the input side of the amplifier is R i and the current flowing towards the output terminal or uh, as the feedback current we can represent it as I 2. So, apply KCL at this node, we know what is KCL the current sum of the current flowing towards the node is equal to the sum of the current flowing away from the node. So, these are the uh, only I, I is the current flowing towards the node. So, I I is equal to I 1 plus I 2 these are the currents flowing away from the node. So, here it is given as I I equal to I 1 plus I 2 and now you replace this uh, current in terms of voltage and uh, resistance what is I I it is V I by R I and I 1 is V I by R 1 R I and I 2 it is the current from the input node to the output node. So, you have to give a nodal equation for this I 2 current. So, this voltage the input voltage minus the output voltage divided by this capacitance effect is giving you the current I 2. So, this voltage is V i minus V naught by x C f is V 2 uh, I am sorry I 2. So, you have to uh, substitute all these currents in this equation I, I equal to I 1 plus I 2. So, if you substitute this equation this I, I, I 1 and I 2 you will get a, you will be getting uh, V i by Z i is equal to V i by R i plus how uh, did you get this uh, form 1 plus 1 minus A V into V i because uh, for V naught they have re uh, uh, it has been replaced from 
the gain of the amplifier V0 is equal to VI into AV, it is replaced as AV VI. So, take a, a VI out you will get 1 minus AV here. So, after substituting you, you will be getting this equation and once uh, rearranging it is 1 by this part is 1 by XEF by 1 minus AV and this XEF by 1 minus AV can be written as uh, the XE can be written as 1 by C omega. So, here 1 by C C omega into this part 1 minus AV. We know that XC that is the capacitive reactance is uh, written as 1 by C omega. So, in uh, for this XCF if you put 1 by C omega it is 1 by CF omega into this term 1 minus A, uh, AV the gain of the amplifier. So, it has been uh, taken as XCM ok this part not this omega. 1 minus A V into C F if, if it is considered as C M then the entire uh, this entire uh, term will be X C M ok. So, here the bracket has to be from 1 minus A V into C F it is not included with this omega since X C M can be 1 by omega C M that is what you have to uh, uh, note it down here. So, after uh, substituting this XCM you will be getting this equation as 1 by ZI because uh, everywhere you have a VI term. So, cancel it out on both the sides. So, you will be getting 1 by ZI equal to 1 by RI plus 1 by XCM. So, this equation can be represented as a circuit diagram like ZI equal to uh, 1 by RI plus 1 by XCM. So, 1 by ZI equal to 1 by RI plus 1 by ZTM the this equation is replaced as uh, as a network here and this CM we know that it is 1 minus AV CF. So, this is the uh, impact of the Miller effect at the input side of the amplifier that is an inverting amplifier. So, the, that is what it, it is uh, given as CMI equal to this I represents the input side of the network. So, for any inverting amplifier the input capacitance will be increased by a Miller effect capacitance sensitive to the gain of the amplifier it is A V here. So, sensitive to the gain of the amplifier and the inter electrode capacitance connected between the input output terminals of the active device that is C F inter electrode capacitance connected in between input and output is C F and gain of the amplifier is A V. So, the Miller uh, capacitance at the input side is affected by the um, gain of the amplifier and the, uh, the capacitance connected in between input and output terminals of the amplifier and this is only the capacitance effect at the input side. At the output side if you want to derive the relation or derive an equation for the Miller uh, capacitance you have to consider again there is a node at the output the same network CF which this capacitance has effect at the input side as well as at the output side. So, we have derived the equation for the input Miller capacitance and we now have to derive an uh, equation for the output Miller capacitance. So, now apply KCL at its uh, at the output node consider uh, the, uh, the current drawn by the output terminal of the amplifier as I 1 and uh, uh, in the feedback path as I 2 and at the output that is at the load it is I O and the resistance at the output terminal if it is seen as R O and output voltage is V O. Uh, then at the at this node output node if you apply KCL I naught is the only current flowing through this node and the I 1 and I 2 are away from the node. So, I naught equal to I 1 plus I 2 and again I 1 and I 2 are represented in terms of voltage and uh, resistance I 1 is V naught by R naught V O by R O and I 2 is this you have to uh, give in a nodal form because it is flowing from one node to the other node. So, you have to represent as a nodal form. So, this node voltage is V O and this node voltage is V i. So, V, no, v O minus V i by 
this effect the capacitance effect it has been given as x c f and this r o is uh, if it is neglected and the output current is simply or approximately equal to this i i 2. So, it is approximately equal to i 2 uh, for v i if you substitute uh, v o by a v this equation will have v o as a common term and take this out and you will be getting an equation for i o by v o equal to 1 minus 1 by a v by x c f and if you reverse this equation v o by i o will be uh, x c f by 1 minus 1 by a v and we know what is x c f it is 1 by omega c f into 1 minus 1 by a v and this can be this C f and 1 minus 1 by a v can be re, uh, considered as C m o that is the Miller capacitance at the output uh, side or output Miller capacitance. So, 1 by omega C m o th this is the output Miller capacitance and it is given as C m o equal to 1 minus 1 by a v C f. Uh, if the magnitude of this uh, gain term that is a v if it is greater than greater than 1 then this is this C m o that is the output Miller capacitance is approximately equal to the feedback capacitance C f which is connected in between the input and output terminal and so it is approximately equated. So, we have seen now what is the capacitance effect which is going to reduce the gain of the amplifier when the amplifier is given the um, high frequency signals and the for the high frequency uh, response of the BJT this is the network this is the pair of the R and C combination at the high frequency end there are two factors that will define the 3 dB point the network capacitance and the frequency dependence of beta that is the gain HFE R beta it is. Uh, in some uh, specification uh, sheets it is represented as HFE for our understanding it is given as beta here HFE R beta it is the gain of the amplifier. So, here we already uh, we have discussed about the combination of R and C uh, when it is connected like this it is a high free uh, um, high pass filter because if f is, f is high then x c is very low and if x c is low this effect is low. So, it, it can be considered as a short circuit uh, if it is considered as a short circuit then the output voltage will be 0. So, it will not pass the high frequency signals it will pass only the low frequency signal. So, the gain uh, so it the gain is reduced uh, for every 10 times of uh, frequency the gain is reduced and this is a to be low pass network and if it is reversed the resistance here and the capacitance here then that time it is uh, th that network is called as a high pass network and this capacitance effect which we are uh, uh, dealing is the network capacitance the network capacitance what is the network capacitance it is the Miller capacitance and the wiring capacitance ok. So, the how the gain is reduced here is a v equal to 1 by 1 plus j f by f 2. So, here this f 2 is for uh, high frequency response in previous case we have uh, uh, derived as 1 by 1 plus j f 1 by f and f 1 is for the low frequency response. So, this is the entire circuit of uh, bipolar junction transistor with the inter electrode capacitance and the wiring capacitance. Okay, what are all the capacitance effect which affects the gain of the network uh, for the high frequency uh, signals. Here this capacitance B C C B C when you look at look around the transistor B J T there are inter electrode capacitances. So, here this is the base terminal this is the collector terminal in between base and collector you have a capacitance effect only for the high frequency signals this effect will be seen at the network and also for any two um, for any uh, two terminals if you look at there is a capacitance effect in between. So, here collector and the emitter will have a 
capacitance affects the CE. The CE represents the collector terminal and the emitter terminal. Similarly, for the base and the emitter you have another capacitance effect C B E this B represents the base and this E represents the emitter. So, these are all the inter electrode capacitance effects which are all seen only for the high frequency signals and other capacitance effect which we have discussed is the wiring capacitance C W I this is the wiring capacitance at the input and C W O wiring capacitance at the output of the amplifier and uh, these capacitances we have seen earlier the coupling capacitance and the bypass capacitor. So, because of these capacitance effects again we will have for each capacitor we will have uh, each uh, higher cutoff frequency. So, here F H i is derived as 1 by 2 pi R s parallel R i into C i. This is uh, one of the higher cutoff frequency because of this resist uh, this capacitance C i. What is C i here? It is the wiring capacitance at the input side plus the inter electrode capacitance between base and the emitter between, between the base and the emitter because this is the input junction. So, in between these two terminals we have a capacitance effect only this is considered for C i. So, it is uh, the wiring capacitance at the input side and the base emitter capacitance plus we have seen now the Miller uh, capacitance at the input. So, C m i. So, this is the Miller capacitance at the input side. So, which can be replaced as 1 minus the gain of the amplifier into the capacitance connected in between the input and the output that is what is the input terminal here? It is base terminal. What is the output? It is the collector terminal. So, here the capacitance which connects the input terminal and the output terminal is C B C the base, collect, uh, base collector capacitance. So, this is the equation which we have derived for the Miller capacitance C m and C m i. So, this is the collectively which has been considered as the input capacitance effect C i because of this C i we have got a uh, higher cutoff frequency called F H i and here what is R i? It is the input uh, resistances at the input side of the network and it is uh, the parallel combination of the resistance R 1, R 2 and here what is H i e? We know that it is the internal resistance at the input side. We have derived the hybrid equivalent circuit for uh, BJT and since this BJT is a common emitter uh, configuration, the internal input impedance is considered here as H i e, it is the internal input uh, impedance. So, R i is the parallel combination of R 1, R 2 the external resistances and H i e the internal input impedance and uh, just now we have seen what is C i. So, this is the effect of the input capacitance C i because of which we have got a frequency term at the high frequency range and we have got one more term called the output capacitance C o and uh, C o we know that uh, similar to C i the input capacitance. The output capacitance has also got the wiring capacitance C w o and the output terminal uh, capacitance that is collector emitter capacitance. In between collector and emitter you have a capacitance called uh, C, C E and the Miller capacitance at the output terminal. So, C M E uh, C M O. So, because uh, uh, this C M O if you replace uh, by its equation it is 1 by 1 uh, 1 minus 1 by A V into C B C. It is the again it is the capacitance which is uh, connecting the input and the output terminal this C B C. So, if you replace this it is it will become 1 minus 1 by A V into C B C and what is the out uh, resistance R O here? R O is the, the resistance parallel combination of the collector resistance R C and the internal output resistance 1 by H O E. We know the H O E is the output admittance uh, of the B J T amplifier. So, it is admittance so, since we are calculating the resistance you have to uh, 
inverse this admittance if you want to have a resistance here. So, it is the parallel combination of the collector resistance and HOE 1 by HOE. So, because of this output capacitance, so we have considered all the effects as the output capacitance CO and due to which we got a higher cutoff frequency FHO. Okay. Another uh, term it is uh, HFE, how the HFE varies between the common emitter configuration and common uh, base configuration. Here this is again a Bode plot in x axis it is the range of frequency of the input signal and in y axis it is the gain of the amplifier and this blue line the upper curve shows you the gain of the common emitter configuration and it uh, touches 0 dB at the frequency, it touches 0 dB here at the frequency f t and for common base configuration the gain of the amplifier which is uh, which shows the constant value for more range of uh, input frequency signal and since this f t is very very high than this f b and how the gain is uh, reduced is re given in a relationship called h f e mid that is the mid range the beta in mid range divided by root of 1 plus f t by f b the whole square and since this term is very high uh, it, it can be taken as h f e mid by f t by uh, f b equal to 1 and this is the equation for f t and f b. If this is f b then if you put it in this uh, equation in this equation you will be getting f t as 1 by 2 pi here instead of R e uh, you, you can have H i e into C b e plus C b c. And since we are dealing with the uh, common emitter instead of H i b it is H i e you can take. This is the full response of B j t. So, you have to choose the note the highest lower cutoff frequency F l must be chosen here highest lower cutoff frequency and lowest higher cutoff frequency must be chosen. So, while uh, dealing with the high frequency signals we have derived uh, 3 values of uh, higher cutoff frequencies right for the input capacitance C i and for the output capacitance effect C o and for the gain also we have uh, got 3 other uh, 3 higher cutoff frequencies out of which which is lower we have to choose. And, uh, so, the highest lower cutoff frequency F l is chosen and the lowest upper cutoff frequency F h is uh, chosen which are closest to the actual response of the amplifier. This is the actual response of the amplifier. So, the theoretical value and the practical value will match if you choose like this the higher highest lower cutoff uh, if you choose and lowest higher cutoff if you choose this will match the theoretical response of the uh, I am sorry the practical response of the network. So, this is the high frequency response of FET it is similar to the BJT again you have a inter electrode capacitance in between all the active two terminals and wiring capacitance at the input and at the output side. So, because of the uh, input sides capacitance effect you will have a higher cutoff frequency F H i and because of the output sides uh, capacitance effect you will have another higher higher cutoff frequency F H o. And uh, you have to choose again the hi lowest higher cutoff frequency for the FET also to match the response the actual response of the amplifier. So, in this uh, lecture we have seen the frequency response of uh, bipolar junction transistor and the field effect transistor in which the how the transistor uh, transistors gain is affected due to the uh, coupling capacitors and the bypass capacitors for low frequency signals we have seen and for high frequency signals what is the effect of the capacitance or uh, the Miller capacitance present in the network which is affecting the gain of the amplifier for both the FET and the BJT we have seen. And questions what is the Miller effect what do you observe from the higher cut of re, uh, high, high frequency response of uh, field effect transistor or FET how do you choose the cutoff frequency for calculating the bandwidth of an amplifier. These are the references. Thank you.